Hello, and welcome to this series of videos on using Coachmaster software on actual coaching problems. My name is Bob Griffiths, and I'm a coach and facilitator based in the UK. I developed Coachmaster because I'm very passionate about coaching, and I want coaching to be far more available in the world than it is today. My vision is that one day, anybody with a problem anywhere in the world will be able to connect to another person and using both their skill and the skill built into the software will help them work through their problem, issue or challenge. So I've created this series of videos to show how Coachmaster works and I thought the best way to do this would be to record me doing some actual coaching sessions. So you'll be able to see me coaching with my commentary on how effective or not effective I am. Coachmaster is the world's first software that actually guides a coach through a real coaching session. We call it a kind of GPS for coaching. So you'll see the sessions exactly as I conducted them, and we'll be commentating on the actual coaching and the features of Coachmaster. So you'll see how coaching works and the benefits and limitations of coaching in this way. So let's do some coaching. So this is the coach's view of Coachmaster. And here you can see the tabs for my version of the Grow model. As you can see, it's got six tabs instead of the classic four tabs of the original Grow model. I find these extra tabs for the session goal and dividing the O into obstacles and options helps the coach think more clearly through the issues in a session. Above the tabs for the session, you can see the participants. There's me as the coach and Jane is the client. So using the ask buttons, I can just select and send a question to Jane and then edit it before I send it once it's in the send box. Jane then sees the message on her screen and starts typing her response. Just to save some time, I've cut out the typing part and I'll just post the messages straight into the uh, dialog. So Jane has told me that she's having some trouble with mentoring, but I don't really know what she means by mentoring, so I'm going to ask a clarification question. I've used this uh, language clarification question here to find out a bit more about um, what Jane means by mentoring, but uh, I've chosen to just freeform a question here and see if we can get some more information. So in her response, Jane gives lots of information, but she's not particularly comfortable telling people what to do, although that obviously could be part of management. And she also thinks people question whether or not she knows what she's talking about. So she's doing a bit of mind reading, which could be accurate or it could not be. But remember, the point of this section, and you always need to be clear when you're using the GROW model or in Coachmaster or otherwise, is to help the client get a clear goal. So my next question was aimed at helping Jane clarify what she wanted as an outcome, as an overall result in terms of the coaching. So I used this question and modified it a bit to put it into her own language, but the only problem was it wasn't really the right question because Jane here was telling me about her internal experience of not feeling comfortable in either being a manager or perhaps not having the right answer every time. And I was asking her about an external experience of what somebody else would see. So I then had to put a couple of clarifying points to try and make the questions work. So in response, Jane very kindly tries to answer my not very helpful question about um, what good mentoring would look like. But it'd be very difficult to really know whether she achieved this or not, because again, it would be a very internal experience but she has told us that she recognises that a lot of what goes on is within her head and she doesn't know whether it's accurate or not, which is a really good sign. So my next question was an attempt to summarise what we've got up to so far, even though it was very much about her experience and the experience of the other person, 
So it would be very difficult to verify those two inner experiences, so it wasn't really a clear goal. It seemed important that we actually summarise where we've got to so far. Now, in response to this, Jane agrees that this could be a goal, but then provides some really interesting information about her negative internal dialogue and the judgment she thinks the other person is making about her if she's telling them what to do, or that they don't think she's smart. So I could then go on and ask the question that I should probably ask before, which is known as the miracle question in brief therapy. And the miracle question asks the client to presuppose that their problem is magically solved and ask how they would know that it had been solved. Jane now gives some information about how she'd like her relationships with her colleagues to be, i.e. perfect all the time and with no negative internal dialogue, which is quite a big ask, but it seems like a good move forward in the right direction. So we accept that and see if we could focus on perhaps one aspect of it, which is the negative thoughts. And I make an attempt to narrow down the goal to something that she would know for herself, whether she achieved it or not. But I didn't want to lose the part about having positive working relationships. So I checked in with her whether she was happy to focus on dealing with the negative thoughts. And then we established a date, which was acceptable as an overall goal. Now another aspect of the overall goal stage that you should be aware of is it's possible to go down to minute degrees of accuracy to try and get an absolutely clear overall goal. It's very rarely necessary. What you really need is to get something that's clear enough so both you and the client really understand whether you've achieved it or not. And it is something that the client definitely wants. Then, all the coach has to do is to use the summarization features of Coachmaster to drag and drop the relevant information to the chat box, send it to the coach summary section for the overall goal, and then it appears on the coaches tab on the bottom right hand side, and it also appears in the client's view on their screen. So we have worked through using the features of Coachmaster to create a clear goal and in the next section I'll show you how to create the session goal and the subsequent summaries.